In these problems, we're dealing with fourth degree equations, quartic equations are sometimes called. And what we want to do is find uh, the values of x, so we're looking for the roots here. We've already got this set equal to zero, so if you think about approaching this like a quadratic equation, what you want to do first is try to factor this. Now, if this one said x squared and this one said x, factoring it probably wouldn't be too big of a problem. You can see you've got a positive 5 here and a negative 6. So if we said x minus 1 times x minus 5, that would add up to negative 6. It would multiply out to a positive 5. But since we're, this is a fourth degree equation, if we put x squared here, that actually works. If you FOIL this out, you'll find you get exactly this. So if you can think about it like a quadratic. How would you factor it if it was a quadratic and then use x squared in there? Now we've got two quadratic factors. We can set each of those equal to 0, because remember this whole thing equals 0. So I have x squared minus 1 equals 0, and I have x squared minus 5 equals 0. Now I want to solve for x, so in this first one I'm going to add 1. I get x squared equals 1. Take the square root of both sides, and I get x equals positive or negative 1, because the square root of 1 is 1. Over here we do the same thing, add 5 take the square root, and we get x equals positive or negative square root of 5. And those are the four answers for values of x here. Let's look at one more. All right, in factoring this one, we've got a negative 12, so we know one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. And we want it to add up to negative 11. So it looks like 1 and 12 are going to be our answers, and we want a negative 12 and a positive 1. I think that's going to work. Now we've got our two factors that we can set equal to 0. So x squared plus 1 equals 0, and x squared minus 12 equals 0. And our x squared plus 1 equals 0 is going to be a little bit different this time. Uh, to set x squared, um, you know, get x squared alone, I'm going to subtract 1 from each side, and I get x squared equals negative 1. And then when I take the square root here, I have the square root of a negative 1. And you might remember that's an imaginary number. The square root of negative 1 we call i. So the answers here are going to be x equals positive or negative i. And over here, we add 12 to both sides. And we get x squared equals 12. Take the square root. And we get x equals... Let's see, um, that square root of 12, that's 2 times the square root of 3. Oops, but we need positive or negative. So these are the four answers for that one. And that's a little bit of work with these fourth degree equations.